Hey guys, what's going on, Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools tutorial series. So, in this, in this video, we're going to be covering square cylinders, and for this video, I'm going to be looking at building an archway. Um, so, a pretty simple one, but it'll give you, the, you know, give you a bit of an overview on how they all work. So, what we need to do first of all is, of course, draw out a brush. So, I'm just going to draw out a normal rectangle. Let's see, we have it over here. It's on the floor, lovely. Uh, so, I'm just going to give this actually a coke texture. Find out. Uh, I'm used to working off two screens. Uh, just give it one of these textures, that'll be fine. Actually, it'll make it a bit darker so you can actually see it against the ground. Okay, so let's make this actually into a square cylinder. And so we'll go up to patch, of course, looking down on it because we want it to be created looking downwards. We'll go to patch, primitives, and go over, that, over to square cylinder. There we go. So we can see if we press V on our keyboards now, we can see we've got a bunch of verts. Um, if you've seen the previous video, which was on cylinders, um, it pretty much works the exact same way of moving the verts around, but just in case you haven't done it, I'll cover it again anyway. So what we're now going to need to do is press spacebar and copy this, go create it on the top again, and now we're going to press V. We're now going to do left click mouse drag to highlight in vertices. We do alt left click mouse drag to move these about. So what we're going to do is we want it to be going over like this and then back down this other side. So I'm going to put it over down to here. We're going to select these as well, left click mouse drag. We go into a lower grid view. We do Alt Left Click to drag these down, and we'll you know just keep on doing the same pattern. So now you can see we've got some here and some here. You notice I've kept them on grid, so they're they're directly on where the grid meets, like here. Just so we know we got a, that we got you know a perfect 90 degree angle. And I'm just going to move these like so, just to neaten this up. All that does it just makes it so your curves perfect by having these vertices in line with each other. Of course, if you did want to, you know, move this about a little bit, you perfectly can do. You might, might want it to be a bit more pointed. Um, maybe you want it to be more squished. You can put it down to here. You can really do whatever you want to it. Um, I just want mine to be, you know, perfect curve like that. What we're now going to do is I'm going to copy this and rotate it to the other side. So I'm going to press spacebar, press R and rotate. So it's like such. And then what I'm going to do is grab this part over here, copy that press R to rotate and put this over here. Now you can very easily just copy this without rotating it over to the other side. The reason why I rotated it is because I'm going to weld all this together now to be one whole thing. If you don't do that, the vert, you know, the, the direction of the actual um, like faces don't match. So it probably won't actually weld. It'll only weld these three parts here. So rotating it makes it flow um, as it should do. So I'm going to select them all like such and we'll press W. See so that's now welded the entire thing together. Um, and you know, you can really, well, you can basically use this now as you would do with a normal patch. Um, it works the same sort of way. So what I'm going to do is texture this. I'm going to go to textures and go for a brick texture. There we go, Let's see what we've got going on. Uh, we'll give it, we'll give it one of these textures. Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for here. So you can see this looks, you know, pretty decent all the way up. It goes stretchy here and then it just goes horrible. What you're going to do is go over to Service Inspector. Uh, you can click Natural, that might sort your issue out. Uh, in my case, it did. If it doesn't do, maybe maybe click Light Map. Usually it's Natural that will always fix this. I have had a few cases though where Natural and Light Map um, works together. Um, but in most cases, it will just be doing natural, okay? With it, we'll sort out your texture. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you want to line up your texture a bit more, then you can start using some more of these and start messing about with it. But that's for another video because I don't want to be into super in depth, you know, texture alignments. Um, all in, you know, just a, a simple video of a square cylinders. <laughs> so, um, of course, you know, like we did do with the pipes, if you want it to be more rounded at the top, you can, of course, do shift and close square bracket to make it more rounded. Of course, to make it more sort of jagged and more straight, it's shift open square bracket and then make it much more block like. So, I'm going to leave it about there. That looks pretty, you know, pretty neat like that. And of course, you can experiment with different textures. You can, of course, you know, make multiple of these. You know, make, you know, window archways, 
arched roof beams, things like that. Um, you can really go quite wild with these and uh, make some really quite interesting and complex geometry with them. So, of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Um, and of course, you know, if you have any tutorials that you want me to cover, please leave them in there as well, and I will cover them once I, you know, once I get around to uh, that sort of stage. But yeah, um, as always, you know, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video where I'm going to be. Well, actually, I'm not going to say what I'm going to be covering because I don't know yet. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.